Hi, this is Gary from 3Bug Media, and today we're going to answer the question, what is SEO? Now, SEO is a very broad term, and it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, which is why it's such a kind of confusing topic. Everybody knows what SEO is, but not everyone knows exactly what it is. So today we're going to break it down to three simple steps, and hopefully it'll provide a clearer picture of what SEO is. So what is SEO? SEO is basically broken down into three things, technical, links, and content. And to really have a comprehensive SEO strategy, you really need to incorporate all three of these things. Now, the first thing we'll talk about are the technical aspects of SEO. And those are things that typically a visitor can't see, but they help the search engines determine the information on your site, how it's organized when they come and crawl it. Coding is very important on your site. You want to make sure that your web code is clean. It's, you know, it's not causing any roadblocks for the search engines. They're not hitting any dead ends. So you want to make sure that you have a nice and clean code on your site. And that also helps with site speed. Now, when somebody loads your website, they type in your URL in a browser. You want to make sure that the website loads nice and fast. Google has made a big emphasis on this and they've also made it a ranking factor. In SEO. So you want to make sure you have a fast loading website. Other things are metadata. Now metadata is information uh, that the search engines can see, but not necessarily humans. And that might be meta titles, meta descriptions, which technically isn't a ranking factor, but it does help in the search results when it comes to click through rates uh, and also markup language. So metadata and markup language are all structured data on your site that when the search engines come, it makes it nice and easy for them to understand what this is. And think of like a recipe site, something like that. You'll see how all the recipes are the same. They're all structured the same. So what they're using is they're using structured markup language. So every time they add a recipe, it's nice and clean. And if you actually looked at that kind of metadata, like, like the way the search engines do, you'll see that it's very easy for them to see that this is a recipe on there. And you can actually do markup language uh, for lots of different things, depending on your business and what kind of site you have. Uh, site structure is also an important one. You want to make sure that it's navig navigable, excuse me, uh, and make sure that, you know, especially for the search engines, they don't hit any roadblocks like we talked about before. You know, you don't have sections of your site that basically go nowhere or you know, once you get to that part, you have to go all the way back to the homepage to start over. You want to make sure that you can navigate the site properly and the search engines. You know, when they come and crawl your site, you want to make sure that they don't hit any of these dead ends because if they start running into trouble, what happens is they'll leave your website and there may be lots of pages that haven't been indexed on your site that should have been, but the, but the search engine stopped their crawl because they started hitting too many problems on your site. So you wanna make sure all these technical things are all set up properly. Now, the next thing we'll talk about when it comes to SEO are links. Now, links it plays a very important role when it comes to SEO. Not as much as it used to, but it still plays a very important role. In the past, some people would say that links made up about 80% of all your SEO efforts. While that's not true today, it's still the one of the most important factors you can do, especially if you're in a competitive industry, links is what's gonna win the game at the end of the day. Now, why do they use links? The search engines use links as a form of credibility and popularity. So think of it like a referral in real life. So if the New York Times links to your website and one of their, you know, one of their editorials or one of their articles, that shows the that shows the search engines that your website is very credible pertaining to whatever they're talking about in the New York Times. Uh, but even on a smaller factor, say local blogs, things like that, that still plays a role. They, the search engines take all these link signals and they kind of make a determination how popular you are, how authoritative you are, what the quality of your content is, things like that. And it plays a big role in how they determine how it's going to rank. So where do you get links? You get links from other websites, maybe other businesses, local associations, things like that. Uh, you can get them from directories, directory listings, uh, you know, pertaining to your location, your city, even your industry. Media, you can get them from media websites, a local paper, local news organizations, and also blogs, people that blog about stuff in your industry 
or your city, things like that. Getting links from all of these sources all play a role in how your website's going to rank. It's a very uh, sophisticated algorithm they use. But if you kind of just think of, you know, if I can get some really credible, authoritative links coming to my site that are also related to my industry, then that will play a role in helping me rank my pages higher in, in the search engines. Now, the last thing we'll talk about when it comes to SEO is content. Now, content can mean a lot of different things. Typically, it's information on your website, whether that's in text format, video format, things like that. It can mean a lot of different things. You know, some of the things are blog posts on your site, the service pages if you're a business, videos, podcasts, images, things something like infographics, and also downloads. You may have white paper reports, ebooks that you download. All of these are considered content and they all play a role in SEO when it comes to uh, creating content. So content is extremely important. Without content, you can't even get into the SEO game. You know, you hear the term content is king. It's absolutely true. Think of it as every time you create a new piece of content, you open a new door or opportunity for the search engines to rank you for something. Now, the more content you post, as long as it's high quality and it's kind of targeted and on topic, the more opportunities you'll have to rank in the search engines. And in a second, we'll talk about how all of these three things all tie together. But content is really important. There's no one type of content. Some people lean more towards videos. Maybe some people you know, have an audio bent where they want to do podcasts, things like that. All of these are considered pieces of content and they all play a role in helping you get in the SEO game, get these targeted keywords and search terms into, into play where you can start to get them ranked higher in the search engines. So we just spoke about the three aspects of SEO technical links and content. So how do they all work together? Well, the technical aspect is setting the stage for your SEO campaign. It's making sure there's no barriers between your website and the search engines. Everything's running nice, clean, and efficiently. Now links and content play a cr close role with each other. We just spoke about how content gives you the opportunity to rank for a specific topic or search term, well, the links are what's going to push that content to the top of the search engine results. And as those topics and those search terms are more competitive, links play a more important role in getting that content pushed to the top of the search engine results. So to have a comprehensive SEO campaign and a really quality SEO campaign that actually works, you really need to have all three of these things in play. So I hope that explains what SEO is and gives you sheds a little bit light on actually what components you need to have in place in order to have a good quality SEO campaign. Well, I hope to shed some more light on what SEO actually is, what it's made of, so you have a better idea of some of the things you can do to improve the SEO for your website. If you have more questions, you can go to 3 Media. Dot com. We have a wealth of resources on online marketing, SEO, paid advertising, things like that. And if you have any questions, you can fill out the contact form and contact us today. Thank you very much. Have a good day.